Hello, welcome back. One of the texts used this week in churches is Paul's first letter to the Corinthian. And if we have to qualify and describe, find a word that would describe the early church, the early Christian church in Corinth, I think the best one will be dysfunctional. It was a dysfunctional church. Maybe you're saying that every family or every group is dysfunctional especially as i'm recording this a few days after the holidays some would say everyone is a little dysfunctional well maybe but the church in corinth was dysfunctional on steroid it was I, I, paul wrote many letters in the Bible, we have two of them, but from what I understand, uh, there's many letters written to the Corinthian trying to solve all their problems because they had a lot of problems that was fueled by a social status, ethnicity, uh, money. And it was questioned about who's admitted to the Lord's Supper, who can eat when they were eating together who was better than the other, who has more authority than the other. And on and on and on. <laughs> Endless source of problem for Paul. And this week, the passage for this week is about the spiritual gift, the, the gift from the Spirit. And there's many gifts some people have in current. Some have wisdom, others are known for their faith, uh, power to heal, prophecy, discern, and, and so on. And once again, the question seems to be, who's the best? Who has the best gift or the more important gift? Uh, whose gift who give the, the power to lead the congregation to decide for others? And, and oh, sorry, I forgot which gift really come from God and those are not really from God. <laughs> it seemed to be very important for the Corinthian. And as we read this today, we, we kind of said, okay, guys, like, why are you arguing? You know, what's, what's the point of all of this? And, you know, but once again are we so different today we might not argue about the gift of the spirit but other gifts or ability some are good in sports some are very tall some are artistic some are very some are very good to think on their feet um as often i say these 10 fingers can type on a keyboard and that's about it. I wish I could be like, I don't know, like my father being able to repair things. My mother was an amazing quilter and, and can make stuff. Nope. <laughs> I don't have those gifts. I don't have those ability. And sometimes we look at the ability, the gifts of others. We have a little envy. But sometimes it goes to jealousy and it goes to conflict because uh, we envy what we don't want. Or sometimes we try to protect ourselves and say, well, they have gifts, but my gifts are better and they're more important to the society. I deserve more because of my gifts, because of my talent. Well, to all of this, Paul answers said, Stop arguing. Stop, stop trying to create some kind of hierarchy or cluster or groups. Stop trying to boast because of your gifts. Uh, don't think you are better or more important. Because all those gifts come from the same place. <laughs> it's all a gift. And as it is said, it's a gift. You got it. You cannot, usually you cannot claim that you're good in sport. You, you can have practice a lot. But if you start with no talent at all, you have certain disposition, certain ability that you receive. 
So you cannot boast about it. And all those gifts are useful for the group, for the body, for the body of Christ. When they come together, that's where they really, really become important and valuable. It's when we bring together the people, when we bring all the gifts and talents together, that we can accomplish so much. And that's why I'm saying often and again, diversity is not a curse but a blessing. Because if everybody was good at typing on a keyboard, who's going to repair the keyboard and vice versa? And is this complementary, yeah, I should not say that word, that, that we complement each other, that's better, that we complement each other, that we can create so much and become more as a group and follow God's wish. And that's what I hope that you will discover this week and this month. That my gift, your gift, the next door person gifts, they all good. They all valuable. Everybody has something to offer. They might not know yet, but everybody has something to offer. And it's when we bring all of this together, when we work together. When we stop jealousy and, and conflict, that we can accomplish more. That's, that's it for today. Once again, thank you for watching, for listening. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.